Hey guys, and welcome back to another military video. Now, before I get into this, I would just like to apologize for delaying this video. I originally had planned on making this video on January 6th or January 7th, but then some school that I had to deal with some, you know, school came in the way and then I delayed it for another week and then came my birthday and it was a good birthday for those wondering, nothing bad happened. So yeah, it's just, you know, I've been busy and putting this off and I'm sorry for doing that and I'll make sure in the future that this does that this doesn't happen again. But with that all out of the way, let's go over the his let's go over the history of these Belgian military gloves. Now, the history segment is going to be a bit short since I couldn't find a lot of details about when these gloves were made or when they were introduced. However, if I could guess, maybe judging by the look of them, I'm going to guess maybe sometime around maybe the 1950s or 1960s, maybe even the 1970s, mainly because it has a bit of a Cold War era look to them, you know, very dark green and all. And I couldn't, I could only find two photos of Belgian soldiers wearing this, which I'll put right here. Besides those two photos, I couldn't find a lot of details about these gloves. So to anyone who has served in the Belgian army, you know, former or current, you know, if you have worn these gloves and you have photos of them, please let me know down in the comment section below. But with that all out of the way, let's try on these gloves. Here are the gloves, folks. Now, I gotta say, I my first impressions of trying on these gloves were I loved them, since, you know, it feels very snuggly and smooth on my hands. But um I wanted to go over a bit of the um a bit of the pros first and then I'll go over the cons. So the pros for this is that they can work very good, especially in well cold weather conditions, and I live in New York, so, and I don't live in New York City, I live in upstate New York, so, yeah, these gloves are definitely going to come in handy. And another thing that I like about these gloves is that they're usually, now this could be a bit of a pro and a con, I'll get that into that later, but they're made out of wool, so it will, you know, help me stay warm and all, and it's not very itchy, like, in my personal experience with wool, it's not really itchy, but I'll explain that later. And the, I had another con, not a con, but a pro for me is that I wanted to look for a pair of military gloves, but a pair of military gloves that weren't like tactical, you know what I mean? And not nothing, I didn't want to go for something like 5.11 gloves, which no hate towards 5.11. I think I have a pair of 5.11 gloves and I think they're awesome. And yeah, and another thing that I like about them is that, uh, they're one size fits all. Now that could be a con depending on it, but for me it's a really a pro since I don't have to deal with sizing and all. But um, with the pros out of the way, let's go over a little bit of the cons to them. For the cons, this the number one con you might notice when buying these gloves is that these gloves are not gonna interact well with a touch screen. It's not gonna ruin your phone or anything, but when you try to touch like something on your phone or laptop, it's not going to work and it will not respond. So you are going to have to take off one glove, say if you're going to call someone or you're going to search up a recipe on Google or search a video up on YouTube. And that was a bit of an issue for me. However, as I've gotten, as I've, you know, worn these more and more, I just said, man, nah, screw it. It's not really an issue for me anymore. And yeah, but let's go over to the second con, which is the material that these gloves are made out of. Now, as I mentioned before, these gloves are made out of wool. Wool for me doesn't really, you know, it doesn't bother me. I'm, it, it's not very itchy in my opinion. However, it could be itchy for you or someone else. So take that into consideration before buying these. And the third one, the third con for me, which is, well, a bit of a pro and a con at the same time, it would have to be that these are a one size fits all glove. Now, that is a bit of a pro and a con for me since I don't have to deal with sizing my gloves and all. However, the only con I would say to this is that you are going to have to yank them down like this because if I put them up, if I put my gloves up like that, you know, there's a lot of uh, space towards like the fingertips. So that could be a bit annoying for you. It's not really annoying for me. It, well, it was annoying at first, but I've got, I, I've gotten used to it, but in the end, would I recommend these gloves? 
absolutely since they're very snug they can keep you warm and especially you know since it's winter right now and if you're living up north say in the northern u.s say if you're in a state like north dakota montana new york pennsylvania vermont new hampshire maine minnesota idaho wherever these gloves will definitely come in handy and that's about it. So if you like this video, make sure you click that like button and comment and subscribe for more content like this. And don't forget to follow me on Minds, Odyssey, Instagram, and Reddit. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Dawson from the future here. And I forgot to say this, but I now have a PayPal account. So in case you want to go donate to me, I'll link that down in the description. But with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. And... Goodbye.